Ricky versus Sleep on Othello. And in the bottom right corner as the yellow Zerg, we have ISL2 Rocky. And in the top right as the purple... Protoss? Wait, did he race switch? Whoa, Manor! Manor, sleep! Sleep. Yes, but there is a final match. So, sleep somehow turned into Protoss when I wasn't looking. Um, I didn't see if he switched at the last second. But that's interesting. Did he, did he switch? Did he go random? I, I thought he... I could have sworn he picked Zerg. I could have sworn he picked Zerg, but... Uh, but anyway, let's see if uh, let's see if Rocky knows. Did he actually just cancel the pylon? I think he just canceled the pylon. I saw that on the mini map. I think he actually built one in the wrong position and canceled. Um, so it looks like the Overlord will see it. Uh, somebody says that he actually typed Protoss. Gazo informs me that he actually did type Protoss. Uh, I'm still actually concerned by my plugin right now. I might actually restart Brood War after this game because I don't. Oops. I don't like how my plugin isn't working. Um, that often leads to bad things. Oh, I know why I'm freaking out right now. It's because my mouse is locked. Okay, that's why I keep scrolling weirdly. I had my mouse locked to the window because I was playing earlier. Uh, anyway, a forge is going down. And it's going to get spotted. Um, ooh, did he actually... Okay, it looks like it's an overpool from uh, from Rocky. Getting a bit harassed here by the Probu. If you can block the hatchery, that'll be quite nice. But since he went for an overpool, uh, he can just use the money to make lings instead. Is he going to build a pylon? No, he's not. Uh, I thought since the probe paused for a second, he would build it. Uh, the drone! Ah, uh, I think the drone could have actually won that if he stayed to fight. I think he got the first hit. I'm not positive, but I think he could have. Anyway, the second drone uh, will definitely be able to take him on. And it looks like he actually opts to make the hatchery instead of uh, the extra links. Uh, if you overpool and then hatchery, you actually can't afford the six links immediately, but uh, you just have to add them on one by one. Uh, and wow, sleep actually going for two cannons. That seems a bit much. Uh, more importantly, this cannon positioning is a little bit questionable because the links can actually run around the back of the minerals here if you follow the mouse and go right up the ramp. I don't even know if that'll range at all. Look, look at this path. Do you think the cannon actually ranges this path? Because I don't. <laughs> I, I, I'm seriously concerned by this cannon placement right now. I am actually so worried for this Protoss. Uh, but fortunately for him, it looks like only two Zerglings were produced. So, uh... Well... And it looks like he's actually retreating with these. Oh man, he has no idea. I am almost certain that he can just walk Lings right into the base. Yeah, he def okay, he definitely can walk into the base. There is no way these cannons cover anything. These are these are the most terrible cannons. Like, I'm sorry, Sleep, but that is not a good wall. Um, looks like Rocky is taking a third and getting his gas though, so nothing cheesy coming out from him. Ooh, can he splat smack him? Spit! Spit! Oh no, you stupid drone, you could have blocked him. Uh, anyway, the one Ling will uh, we'll chase it down. Looks like one hit left. Da -da -da -da. Da -da. Well, whatever. Uh, I agree, Storku. It's not an easy map to wall on. But why? But I mean, if you just like think for a second, you even if you don't think, you don't put your cannons like this in any wall. You need to actually cover the whole the whole area, right? This doesn't cover anything, look at this. I mean, at least he didn't block his nexus, but... Hmm... Not good. I, I highly dislike this. Um, so it looks like we have a few probes transferred. A Cybernetic scoring going down in Vision of the Overlord. And a Lair going down for, uh, for Rocky. So... It looks like we're going to go into a standard uh, mid, or, yeah, standard mid game, I guess. 
Um, although a relatively quick plus one has started before the Cyber Next Core is even finished, so it could be some kind of plus one speed lot timing here. Uh, let us see what he decides to throw down if he actually goes for the Stargate or not. Uh, well, okay, yes, it is actually going to be a Citadel before the Stargate. Is that actually envisioned of the uh, the Overlord though? I don't, I don't think it is. Um, Overlords do have quite a nice long sight range, but I don't think that's actually invented, uh, barely out of range. I would hope it is uh, for sleep's sake. And it looks like he wanted to do a bit of harass with one's out, but he's going to ch get chased home. Uh, the Zerglings don't have speed yet though, so uh, I think he will be able to get away safely. Spire going down, and a second gas before a fourth hatch. This could indicate that he's going for Mutalisks, um, which would be quite good against the, the plus one speed lot attack, obviously, since speed lots uh, don't do so well against their units. Looks like a second gateway has gone down. And is that, yep, looks like the Overlord just escaping from the main. Uh, the other Overlord at the natural also running away a little bit. So this is this is nice if the, the process is going for uh, Corsairs. Obviously, um, you want to hide your Overlord a little bit, make it harder for him to, to snipe those with his Corsair. But uh, the Sleep is actually not getting Corsairs. And Rocky is almost certainly going for Mutas at this point. Still no sign of a fourth hatch. And Sunken's in each base. Um, it's interesting. It's an interesting choice to take this this third out here and go for mutas because look how open this third is uh, i mean one player that that does like to to go mutas a lot in in zvp or i guess in every matchup is uh, cole and when cole does it in zvp he basically uh turtles up hardcore and builds a ton of sunkens and sim cities at each of his bases uh usually he takes another natural and so he can sunk up his own natural and then sunk up the other natural and uh, go on the offensive with his mutas. And if the Protoss tries to counterattack, he has a lot of, uh, of static defenses and good SimCity to defend himself. So, uh, I mean, I don't know how much I like this strategy with such an open third. Um, anyway, the, there's still no second gas from the Protoss, so definitely committed to this uh, heavy speed lot attack. Getting one cannon in the main just to be safe. But if mutas come out, man... Um, which they are. It looks like the mutas are popping. Three, six, and... Well, I was hoping to say nine, but it's only six. <laughs> that, that, didn't, that didn't quite go as I, as I planned. Oh, uh, but it looks like these speed lots are the envision of the Overlord. Did he see it? Well, now he's going to see it. Is he going to pull the mutas back, though? Um, looks like he does have a decent number of lings, throwing down another the fourth hatch finally. And he might just try and defend this with the reinforcement mutas while he goes on the offensive with the initial six. He will be able to take down that one cannon quite easily. A second cannon is on the way, uh, doing a nice job pulling away the muta that was being attacked, so doesn't lose the muta yet. The second cannon will not finish. The zealots are going in here. Plus one is done. Speed is done. And it looks like he's going to have to just split them up here uh, and buy some time while he tries to defend his home. But, oh man, losing so many probes in the main, throwing down some more cannons. And the speed lot attack I don't think is going to be that effective. Is there a sunken in the main? There's no sunken in the main, but there are the reinforcement mutas. Although it looks like they're being a little bit AFK. He's going after the spawning pool. I don't know why he targeted the pool, the pool and not the spire. That makes absolutely no sense to me. Uh, he's not even going to get it. Wow, doing almost no damage there. Uh, I mean, the spire has a lot more, uh, or sorry, a lot fewer HP, a lot less HP than the spawning pool, and obviously is more important since, I mean. He wants the Zerg to make uh, Zerglings instead of Mutas right now. Since he has plus one, his Zealots will completely own Zerglings. I don't know why he'd go for the pool and not the Spire. It's like, please make the unit that I don't want you to make. Anyway, going into the third right now, uh, might be able to take on the Sunken, but even if he does, I don't think it matters. Um, looks like Rocky continuing to be aggressive, but this, a few cannons are up here. Uh, he's not paying attention. He might want to just hold position right here. Um, since those cannons are too far away from the mineral line, yep, looks like that's exactly what he's going to do. The main mineral line is completely cleared, uh, and it looks like the Zealot attack is... Well, there's still a couple of them left. They might get this uh, spawning pool, because it seems that Rocky's multitask isn't the greatest, but oh my god, neither is Sleeps. He should pull these probes back to the main. Why is he not pulling the probes back to the main? Seven kills, uh, five kills, eight kills, so many kills on these mutas. Oh my god, he just didn't pull them. GG! Rocky takes the game and will advance to the round of 64. Sleep will uh, go down to the final match. Um, he is not out of it just yet since this was the winner's match. But that was... Oh man, that was a pretty sloppy game.